Hi, astrology lovers. Welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I'm your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for the week of June 9th through the 15th. I do hope you're having a great week, and I appreciate you spending some of it with me. This podcast episode is brought to you by Astrologer Connect, your premier source for quality astrology readings. All right, so this week has a few challenges, but also some playful excitement brewing in the air. Mercury will move into Gemini, adding a light, playful tone to how you communicate, which could cause a few conflicts as Mercury squares Saturn also this week. Staying curious and flexible is the best way to work with this energy. Now, also this week, Venus will square Jupiter. This enhances what your vibe is. This is not a time to let negativity or self-doubt hold you back. Really think of possibilities and walk with questions. Now, we also have Pluto moving back into Capricorn, which could stir up some past lessons or remembrances of power struggles that you have conquered or almost finished conquering. If it does, if it starts those things up, really dial into the growth and the lessons that you've experienced. You want to use this wisdom to navigate what you are working on now. All right, so we are going to get ready to dive into this week's forecast. Remember, this is just a high-level overview of your sun sign and your rising sign. If you would like a more in-depth view, check out all of my colleagues on that platform at astrologyhub.com forward slash astrologer. And I also wanted to make sure that everyone here who is watching on YouTube know that this particular show is about to move to its own channel. So you will not be able to find it here anymore as of July 6th. Don't worry, we'll make sure that you know exactly where to go. Now, if you're looking for information on where that new channel will be, just look in the comments below this post. All right, let's get ready to dive in. Hi, hey, Gemini, let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, I would love to know in the comments below, which of your top three do you feel like you are focusing on the most? So the top three that I have for you is one, self-expression, two, reputation, and three, communication. Now, let's talk about why I think those are your top three as you leave me a comment on which one you feel is your biggest focus. Now, you could still be unraveling some really big reveals from last week. However, as your ruling planet Mercury moves into your sign, Knowing what to say or how to look at matters from multiple points of view is extremely likely. There's going to be a natural flow when it comes to sharing your ideas, even if you encounter some pushback from friends, family, allies. Now, the challenges that come up can remind you of past experiences, lessons, or power struggles. If they do, remember, this is a guiding energy, not a hindering reminder that you can't go forward. Sometimes we really just need to go back or remember so we know how to conquer what's in front of us especially when negotiating new or established boundaries, which you're working on right now. Now, the good news is that both Venus and Jupiter this week will bring creativity, fun, and originality into both your public and your private sides of your life. So those intimate, just you and me, and those more outgoing energies that you always work with. I really encourage you this week to follow your heart and hold tight to that big vision when you're thinking about your connections, what you're saying, and what you're hearing. And I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, Cancer, let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, the top three focuses I have for you are one, endings and beginnings, two, values, and three, convictions. Now, let's talk about why. Now, oddly, the days before your birthday month kind of kicks off really feel a little bit lonely. And it's that way so you have that time to reflect and think about what needs to happen, what needs to come into this next year. Now, the best way to use this time is to get really clear on what those goals are, what you need to release, what you want to welcome in. Now, sometimes to understand those, you need to have a couple of deep conversations with those that are close to you or at your roots or someone who's connected to your legacy, a shared wealth or an ambition that you have. Now, Mercury will favor all of this energy as he moves into Gemini. Finding clarity now will help you attract the perfect launch into your birthday year. It's just around the corner. Having a curious mindset may help you discover that roadblocks within or without are actually stepping stones. We are always isolated before we are elevated. When possible this week, try to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to social gatherings or anything that really supports that dream that you carry, even one that you haven't shared with anyone else. New faces and experiences will help define what your intuition is whispering to you. 
And I would love to know, Cancer, on a scale of one to 10, how ready do you feel for this next dream that you have? All right. I look forward to seeing you here next time. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses that I have for you this week are one, social circles, two, attraction, and three, your reputation. Please tell me in the comments which of those three already have your attention and that you are excited to work on as you step into this week. I am really sure that you have already begun to feel the Venus vibes in your life, and that energy is about to intensify. This week, Venus will square Jupiter, and you can expect that spotlight to get really hot. This is a big, positive energy. What you focus on is what you will get the full expression of when it comes back to you. Definitely aim high. Now, also this week, Mercury moving into Gemini will add action to your social circles. You may find yourself bouncing between multiple obligations. Use this energy to smooth over any conversations that would normally be a little bit challenging, a little spicy. As new information and experiences emerge from these conversations and experiences, you may find that you need to adjust your game plan or possibly lean on past lessons around power and growth so you know what to do right now. Stay curious and willing to shift your perspective. Doing so is going to unlock an enormous amount of potential and opportunity in your life. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, Virgo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses are going to be one, your reputation, two, ending to begin, and three, partnerships. Now, let's talk about why. Now, your reputation or career could feel very lively and useful in the coming weeks. Your ruling planet, Mercury, is going to brighten up this area, as well as topics of home and work-life balance. This is a great time to clear the air and really speak from your heart. Don't be afraid to share what you learned or you've been working on privately behind the scenes. The new path that you have had your eye on for a long time is really going to start to boom with some opportunities. And Virgo, trust that you are ready for these opportunities. Now, in this new life that you're building, it's always important to remember to use and respect healthy boundaries in what is already existing, those relationships that you have and the ones that you are building. This will protect the dream you have and empower the work that you've done to get to this point in your life. Virgo, in the comments, I would love to know on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, how ready you feel for this new journey that you are about to step into. I look forward to seeing you next week. Hey, Libra, let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses are going to be one, new directions, two, social circles, and three, your work. Now, let's talk about why. Now, Mercury moving into Gemini is going to add a lot of creative juice to your world overall. Now, you may find that you are focused on new horizons, creative conversations and connections, self-expression, really bringing that natural Libra in you out into the world. You may have to lean on some past lessons to kind of find your balance as you start to express yourself or step in this new direction. So don't be afraid to do that. Now, the good news is both Venus and Jupiter are going to help you with topics of transformation, deep intimacy, and shared wealth. And of course, the allies that you need to harmonize all of those areas together. Think and act toward anything that supports your long-term vision. High aims are going to open some big doors for you. Now, also this week, you may encounter a few boundaries are roadblocks when it comes to your daily rituals. I'd love to know on a scale of one to 10 in the comments if you are already sensing this roadblock, 10 being the worst and one being, I haven't really noticed it yet. This is really gonna be a good time overall with those roadblocks to ask questions. Anything that you've been avoiding because you didn't wanna disrupt the balance. If you ask why this roadblock is there, even if you're asking yourself, why do I have this roadblock here? I think that the answers that you find could surprise you. So stay curious and to ask them. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses are going to be one, legacy, two, career, and three, your passions. Now, let's talk about why. It's going to be hard for you to not think about your future this week, Scorpio. With Mercury moving into Gemini, getting clear on your legacy, one that you came from or one that you were building, is going to be a hot topic. You're going to think about it. You're going to talk about it. You're going to take actions toward it. You may need to renegotiate matters around shared wealth or money or even your approach towards these really deeply long-term intimate partnerships that you have with others. 
Now, remember, staying curious is going to help you find needed solutions. Don't think that you already have the answer. Ask questions. Well, adding to this week, as Venus squares Jupiter, more opportunities could arise via one-to-one connections, you and someone else, and they could easily support almost every corner of your life. Definitely use your Scorpio senses to identify the best option for your future when you're making these connections. I would love to know if you feel like you are already feeling that intensity when it comes to your client work or your partnerships or just connecting one-to-one with other people. If you have, let me know in the comments on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most Scorpio. I look forward to seeing you next week. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses are going to be one, relationships, two, your work, and three, your roots. Now, let's talk about why. Now, saying what you mean and meaning what you say has never been a challenge for you, Sagittarius. I would love to know in the comments if you love that about yourself or if you've always felt it to be a challenge. Either way, as Mercury moves into Gemini this week, you could have a little bit more of a playful edge to your style of just expressing yourself. Seeing both sides of a story, having fun, or being more self-expressive is definitely likely. You want to use this energy to smooth over any conversations that would normally have a little bit of an edge, be spicy, or challenging with other people. The lighter tone is going to help you get a lot of things accomplished. Now, also this week, new directions and ambitions still have your attention, but Venus and Jupiter will likely give you the break or the opportunity that you have been looking for. Now, your job is to take action when you see this or think of this or inspired to do something to support the growth that you are stepping into with this opportunity. Now, you may need to fortify some of the recent boundaries that you have put in place, or they may feel a little bit tested. Like, do I have what I need to take this next step forward? Just keep in mind that you are ready for whatever comes your way. The clearer you communicate and listen, the easier it will be to really grow into your opportunity and smooth over any rough edges. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, your top three focuses are going to be one, daily ritual, two, creative vibes, and three, fast lessons. Now, before I tell you why I think these are your top three, I would love to know How do you feel about your past lessons? Do you feel that you've conquered them or you're still working on them? 10 is I've got this, I've conquered it. One, I'm still still at the ground zero, which I'm sure you're not. But when I think about this time period of past lessons, I'm really focused on 2019 through present day for you. Like that's when the biggest challenges and where you have a lot of opportunity to learn from as we step into this week. So I can't wait to read your comment about that. All right, let's talk about why I feel like these are gonna be your top three. Mercury moving into Gemini is going to add some volume to your daily ritual, your workflow. And this fast-paced, intergenerating energy is going to feed into your ambitions and really help you see a lot of new possibilities. Now, you could discover that you've already done a lot of that heavy lifting during that really intense time we were just talking about. It could have been through securing funds, financial allies, or building structures and systems around the empires that are really fueled by your passion, something that's kind of connected to your soul. In other words, I really encourage you to lean into those lessons and the opportunities that both Venus and Jupiter are ready to put into action this week. Now, at the same time, trust the new structures that you have put into place when it comes to your day-to-day communication. These are more recent, like since the spring of this year. You have really learned a lot recently and in the past, and those lessons are going to be hard-earned gold and support you in everything that you're trying to launch now, both on a personal and professional level. Let go of any doubt and pick up the wisdom that you've gained. Doing so will help benefit both the short and the long term. I do hope you have a great one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, the top three focuses I have for you are one, passions, two, your connections, you and another person, one to one, and three, your roots or something in a foundational level. I'd love to know of these top three in the comments below, which one you are already focused on or excited to work on as you go into this week. Now, the reason that I think these are going to be your top three is that Mercury is going to be moving into Gemini, and this is going to really light up your heart, Aquarius. This playful energy will remind you of why you do what you do. So being curious and flexible and willing to explore is definitely the key to making the most of that transition or that Mercury energy. 
This would be a good time to make the first move towards something that really speaks to your heart. Venus and Jupiter will add to this vibration. Venus has been attracting new connections and with the help of Jupiter, long-term foundational connections, like something at your roots are definitely likely. Notice who makes you feel at home. Those are the relationships that you want to fortify and definitely attract into your life. Being able to be the most authentic version of yourself definitely always promises a wealth of happiness. Remember that growth and change always test your personal boundaries. Fortify what you need in place, but be open to making space for some growth too, okay? I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, Pisces, let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, I have three top focuses for you this week. One is your roots, your home. Two is your work and three is communication. And I would love to know which of these three already have your focus as we kick off this forecast. But let me tell you why I think these are your top three. I think it's going to feel very busy or playful near your home over the coming weeks, Pisces, which is always good. It's going to be a great place to escape into. Mercury moving into Gemini is going to bring a curious energy into this area and ignite conversations about where do we go from here? What do we want to build? as a family, as a unit, as we step into this new beginning. Now, some old traditions will need to be fortified and others are ready to begin with you. Please tell me if you're already working on those. I love traditions. This is a promising time to have talks that would normally be a little bit challenging or have an edge to them, especially when it comes to your home and your work-life balance. Who gets your attention? When and why? What boundaries need to be fortified? Now, when it comes to your day-to-day -day routines, both Venus and Jupiter are going to inspire a lot of action. Now, this is a positive energy, but it is also very reflective of what you put out. How do you want your days to feel? What needs to shift to make this happen? Now, you have a strong ability to attract long-term expansive relationships with this energy that we're stepping into. Being clear and ready to engage opportunities is the mindset that you want to have as you move through this week. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aries. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses are going to be one, local vibes, two, having fun, and three, your resources. Now, let's talk about why. Now, your local environment or daily ritual has been a theme for weeks. As Mercury moves into this area of your life, you could gain some new perspective on topics that you've been working on. Staying curious and flexible will help you find needed solutions when it comes to bringing more flexibility into your day-to-day -day rituals. Having fun and really feeling passionate about what you do is going to be a high-level theme the entire time that Venus is in Leo, which is where she's at now. Now, this week, as she connects with Jupiter, you may find that your earning power or your resources are amplified. No matter how small an idea seems this week, if it speaks to your heart, explore the possibility. Now, if you are seeing more challenges and opportunities, then work on shifting your energy or your focus or your perspective. Jupiter grows what you focus on and Venus attracts it into your life. So what do you want to grow and attract into your life, Aries? I'd love to know what that is in the comments, even if you just want to give me a small clue. Really focus on that, saying it, speaking it out loud, setting that intention empowers it. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Taurus. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses are going to be one, earning power, two, independence, and three, your roots. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you're still in the midst of a really busy summer, Taurus. I'd love to know on a scale of one to 10 how busy it has felt already. 10 being, I can't even keep up. One, it's kind of boring over here, Jamie. Now, the reason I'm asking is because Venus is lighting up your home, your roots, and your foundations. And this week, this energy is going to connect with Jupiter. So finding harmony, bliss, and expansion in your home is definitely likely. Now, remember, you have to activate this energy. Think about what you want to bring into your life and what you want to protect and fortify when it comes to those foundational levels. Walking with questions instead of doubts will open up a lot of opportunities and doors for you. So Mercury, moving into Gemini, will add to your focus on matters of health and wealth. Getting another revenue stream is possible, as well as a new skill set, like opening up one or using one that you've always had, but kind of sitting on the shelf collecting dust. The more curious and flexible you are when it comes to these topics, the better. With so much big energy in your life, you may also be attracting a little bit of pushback from a circle of friends you have now, or on the flip side, you may need healthy boundaries so that no one really reigns on your parade. Either way, your goal is to keep your vibe high. 
Let that be your priority. I do hope you have a great one. I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, that is our broadcast. I do hope you found some helpful tips and insights about how to work with this week's energy. I love connecting with you each week here, and I also get super excited when I get to meet you on the new platform with Astrology Hub called Astrologer Connect. You can learn more about that at astrologyhub.com forward slash connect. You can find a book with me personally at astrologyhub.com forward slash Jamie Connect. And for those of you who are watching this show on YouTube, just as a reminder, this show will be leaving this particular Astrology Hub channel and moving to a brand new Astrology Hub channel on July 6th. There's more information about that below this post, so please check it out and find me and this show and so many other great shows on our brand new channel very soon. All right, have a good one. I'll see you next time.